In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, one God, Amen. Coptic art began in the first three centuries AD. They were found on the tombs of the ancient Romans. Coptic art is considered folk art and played a prominent educational role in the Church of Alexandria. One of the most important roles Coptic art played was refuting heresies. As an example, in the year 431 AD, Arius came up with a heresy that our Lord Jesus Christ was not divine, and as a way to help to explain the faith and to help educate people on the faith, Coptic artists drew an icon of our Lord Jesus Christ with an Alpha and Omega. Alpha being the beginning of the Greek alphabet and Omega being the end of the Greek alphabet. Signifying that our Lord Jesus Christ is the beginning and the end of all. The word icon is a Greek word that means image or likeness of something. In this case, he is the image and the likeness of God himself. Coptic art primarily depends on natural material, starting with selecting natural wood. This wood is called blackboard. It is prepared with gelatin mixed with water, and it is also mixed with linen cloth. Afterwards, the canvas is prepared with gesso material. The colors that are used on the canvas are egg tempera, which are natural oxidants mixed with egg yolks and vinegar to ensure that the colors last as long as possible because the pictures used to be drawn on murals that lasted for years, so all the materials that were used had to be natural materials. The Coptic art technique depends on architectural designs and clear, simple colors. We start painting with a layer of dark colors because in Coptic art, the light has to come out of the darkness. So we start with the dark colors and then begin to add layers of lighter colors. Coptic art always depends on symbolism. Everything in the painting represents something. The wide eyes symbolize spiritual vision. The very small nose symbolizes asceticism of the senses. The very small mouth is always closed and symbolizes minimal speaking. The wide neck symbolizes the person is filled with Holy Spirit and has spiritual strength. The open hands symbolize that the Coptic people should be praying continuously. The ears are usually big and symbolize constantly listening to the Word of God. As we can see, all Coptic icons have a halo that must be gold to symbolize glory. Jesus Christ's halo is the only halo in Coptic art that contains a red cross on it, making it unique. The red color symbolizes redemption. One of the unique things about Coptic art is the non-realism. For example, we can see Jesus depicted large in an icon while the other characters in the same picture are drawn a lot smaller. But of course, that is not realistic. The idea of it is to symbolize that Jesus is in the middle of the drawing and is the main focus and all other people or objects around him symbolize different things. The second unique thing about Coptic art is that the colors are clear and are not color gradients as can be seen in other art. There are specific colors used in Coptic art like blue, green, red, and gold. You will not find color gradients like in Italian art. The third unique thing is that Coptic art is drawn in one dimension, meaning all Coptic icons are flat and don't add dimension for characters, backgrounds, landscapes, etc. It solely depends on one dimension. Another unique aspect of Coptic art is that it's full of motifs and every motif symbolizes something. For example, grapevines and grape clusters are motifs. The fish is another motif symbolizing Jesus Christ. I am from an artistic family. My father is a fine artist and all my siblings are also artists. I have been working on Coptic and Italian art since I was 17 years old. I wanted to master this talent, so I enrolled in the College of Fine Arts and graduated with a specialty in oil painting. During my time in college, I studied Coptic art, the history of Coptic art, how to create Coptic murals, how to use gold paper, which is one of the most challenging materials used in Coptic art and monument restoration. After graduating, I wanted to learn more about Coptic art, so I joined the Coptic Art Institute 
led by Mr. Isaac Fenus. I have been specializing in Coptic and Italian art for 21 years. During that time, I enhanced my skills by practicing a lot, studying and reading. One of the things I enjoy focusing on are the eyes because it is very important when someone is praying before an icon that they feel engaged with the picture through the eyes and become more engulfed in prayer. One of the most important artists who revived Coptic art is Mr. Isaac Fenus. He has a unique style and we are so thankful to him for reigniting people's interest in studying Coptic art. This is why it is important for us to encourage the younger generation who have migrated out of Egypt to study Coptic hymns, Coptic language, and Coptic art. We don't just teach them Coptic drawing techniques, but also how to read the icons as they are full of symbolism from the colors to the facial features. It is important that we educate our kids about the importance of Coptic art so it does not fade away. Coptic art is also a living representation of the Bible. It takes the reader into a living reality, not some pictures hung up on a wall. It is one of the cornerstones of the Coptic Church in its rituals and prayers and vigils. Throughout the history of the Coptic art, it has been influenced by Roman, Byzantine, and Greek influences, while preserving its originality and its nationalism. During our current day and age, we pride ourselves on teaching our youth about the Coptic language and Coptic art. We continue to strive to keep and hold fast of this tradition and this originality of the Coptic Church that we pray everyone gets educated and knows about. We hope that this is educational to you as much as it was helpful to us and helpful to everyone else. Glory be to God forever. Amen.